what's it like coming to the MCM Expo? How do you find it having been here last year compared to this year? Yeah, this is my second year at MCM Expo and it's, I mean, it's so great. We fly over here and we get to meet the European fans, um, British fans mainly, but a lot of people have come from Spain. Falling Skies does quite well in Spain. Um, and it's different than over in North America than o over in the States. Uh, I was saying people here have a different... Sorry, we're... <laughs> noisy. Um, people here have a different kind of passion mm -hmm. um, and so it's it's cool to to relate to that and we see on Facebook you know who's over here and you want to be able to meet as many people as you can who care about the show. And um, story-wise what's been sort of the most enjoyable episode for you? What have you got the most satisfaction from? Mm. Out, of the two, out of the season so far? Story-wise, um, episode 9, season 3, so you have to keep watching. Uh, it's a secret then. <laughs> uh, it is, it, it's a bit of a secret, but, but Hal and Maggie are trapped. Yeah. Um, and indefinitely, they're trapped in, in a small space. And it's pretty simple scene work, but we really get into the meaning of life and mm -hmm. the meaning of our relationship and it's cool for me when Maggie gets to reveal things about her past or the way that her mind works because mm. I think she's she's got a fascinating take on life. Do you find your character quite interesting because you're not just the uh, archetype hero as such, yeah. you're kind of an anti-hero hero, and sitting in the middle of the fence almost. Yeah, I would exactly. Say. How, how do you find that kind of character to play? What's the pleasure in that type of character? Yeah, I absolutely love playing Maggie because I never know what side of her mm. is going to be triggered in every scene. It's, it's really clear to me mm. who she is and what motivates her, um, but it's it's slightly different you know and in, in every scenario when she's out in the field she's got her guard up and yeah. she's ready to kill and when she's in her relationship her heart is wide open and you can see that she will do anything to you know make her man feel safe and mm -hmm. loved and there's a loyal partnership there yeah. that you wouldn't necessarily expect from someone who's a killer on a dime um, and when you see her with the other female characters, you can see that she's not girly in any yeah. sense. She's not a, she's not a girl's girl, but she does empower women to be their best, be their strongest, and women know that she's got their back. Um, um, now, obviously, Steven Spielberg's a producer on the show, um, and we're speaking to your your producer yesterday, and you were saying about the aura that his presence has on the show. What do you feel like having one of the world's greatest directors being a producer on the show? What, what's it like to know that Steven's involved with the project? Every time I hear that Steven Spielberg has watched dailies and he gives me notes and so far they've all been positive, mm -hmm. um, it's probably you know one of the most exciting human beings that's touched my career so far. Um, I assume as an actor to have someone of his stature to say in a note yeah. great scene yesterday yeah. really hit the hit really hit the spot yeah. I mean how much of a confidence boost is that to you as an actress I don't know if it's a confidence boost but it is um, you know we don't we don't see him he's the man no. behind the curtain in a lot of ways so yeah, it's it this reminder that someone genius mm -hmm. and you know, a leader in the field is overlooking this whole project and it does raise the bar, yeah. I guess. It kind of makes you bring your best mm -hmm. to the table and um, and you can feel his world too. Yeah. It, I mean, the show looks like Steven Spielberg and feels like Steven Spielberg. Those strong human family values with this, you know, fantastical world that you know, there's there's a tension there that mm -hmm. is very 
Steven Spielberg. Something particular to the tension in the air. Now, they talk about the show being, uh, the producers saying it's kind of the premise is that although it's an alien invasion and dealing with the, the battle against the aliens, it's almost like a family drama as well involved in, or not just family drama, but a drama. Yeah. Now, approaching it as an actress, how have you found that, that kind of mix of science fiction and drama melding together? What's it been like for you? It's a treat to be in, in a show that's got the sci-fi and also the thorough human storyline. Mm. Um, I think what ends up happening is you take that depth of character and that sort of deep sensitivity to the world and the community mm -hmm. to these alien creatures yeah. And you endow them with that same level of heart and depth. Uh, so they're, you know, they're just coming, they're coming, the aliens, I think, are more coming into the drama yeah. that we've created as opposed to the other, which often happens in, in sci-fi. Final question. Um, lots of great characters in the show. You're probably one of the great characters also. But if you had the choice... And you could swap for the day. What character uh, would you choose? Any type of character, alien, uh, human, any any gender, either. Just an imaginary world here that you could take any character. Yeah, uh, if I could swap for the day, I would probably choose Pope. Uh, <laughs> the big um, guns. Yeah, yeah. Just because he's got he has so much fun, and in season three, he's got such a great set. We're all jealous. You'll see it. 